Good afternoon. My name is Mark Hardy, and on behalf of Montclair State University, I welcome you to the 2022 commencement ceremony. Please silence all electronic devices. The processional will now begin. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome members of the classes of 1970, 1971, and 1972 who are celebrating the 50th anniversary of their graduation with us today as they enter the stadium to the Montclair State University alma mater. In its remarkable 114 years, Montclair State University has graduated 177,689 degrees. There were 45 students in the very first graduating class. A half century ago, in the years 1970, 71, and 72, there were 5,113 graduates combined. And today, we are joined in our celebration by graduates of those classes. And now, please rise for the class of 2022. The class of 2022 is 5,290 strong. Today's graduates have persevered through an unprecedented time in history, undaunted in pursuit of their dreams. They hail from 38 states and 12 countries. They represent all of Montclair's 300 plus programs and they're devoted to making the world a better place through social action, public service, education, research, the arts, the sciences, and the humanities.
Graduates, please rise as the academic processional will now begin. Leading the procession is this year's Grand Marshal, Dr. Sandra Adams, Professor of Biology. She carries the university mace an ornamental staff symbolizing the university and the president's authority. Following the Grand Marshal are the gonfaloniers, carrying the flags for the colleges and schools. The faculty members bearing the gonfalons were selected by the deans of their respective schools or colleges for this honor to acknowledge their scholarship and contributions to the university. Professor Abby Lilithan is representing the College of the Arts. Professor Jaime Grinberg is carrying the gonfalon for the College of Education and Human Services. Professor Wei Tian Wang is carrying the gonfalon for the College of Science and Mathematics. The Feliciano School of Business is being represented by Professor Widya Atul. Representing the Graduate School is Professor Stephen Greenstein. Professor Eileen Fitzpatrick is representing the College of Humanities and Social Services. Professor Nastasha Davis is representing the School of Nursing. Ladies and gentlemen, we present the President of Montclair State University, our trustees, university officers, and honored guests. Entering are the distinguished faculty and staff from across the university. Please also welcome the sign language interpreters for today's ceremony, Trisha Dolan and Karen Kearns. Thank you for your assistance today. Today's music is performed by members of the Gramercy Brass Orchestra.
The national anthem will be sung by Lisa Bremer, who will be receiving her Master of Music degree in vocal performance today. Please rise. Oh, say can you see by the dawn's early light what so proudly we held at the twilight's last gleaming whose broad stripes and bright stars Please be seated. Dr. Elsbeth Martini will now read Montclair State University's land acknowledgement. We respectfully acknowledge that Montclair State University occupies land in Lenape Hoking, the traditional territory of the Lenape. As a state institution, we recognize and support the sovereignty of New Jersey's three state-recognized tribes, the Ramapo Lenape, Nantico Lenai Lenape, and Powhatan Lenape Nations. We recognize the sovereign nations of the Lenape diaspora elsewhere in North America, as well as other indigenous individuals and communities now residing in New Jersey. We commit to addressing the legacies of indigenous dispossession and dismantling practices of erasure that persist today. We embrace the resilience, persistence, and richness of contemporary Indigenous communities and their role in educating all of us about justice, equity, and the stewardship of the land throughout the generations. Please welcome our Grand Marshal, Dr. Sandra Adams. Professor Adams is a virologist and biologist and is a member of the faculty in the biology department. She has been dedicated to teaching Montclair students for 21 years. It has been an honor to be chosen as Grand Marshal for this auspicious occasion, but it is an even greater honor for me to present the distinguished faculty of Montclair State University. Will the faculty please rise? It is now my pleasure to introduce the ninth president of Montclair State University, Dr. Jonathan Coppell. Thank you. Good afternoon. Come on, good afternoon. 
This is a fantastic day. We are here together celebrating these amazing graduates. The point of this day is to scream loudly and a lot of times. So let's practice. Woo! That's progress. That's progress, but not good enough yet. Welcome. It is an absolute delight to be here with all of you today, friends and family, faculty and staff, and most importantly, the 2022 graduating class of Montclair State University. This occasion provides an opportunity to celebrate your achievement, but also to celebrate this magnificent institution. It's a distinguished public serving university that's an expression of our collective commitment to build a better world and to do it together. Montclair is an accessible, inclusive institution that promotes excellence and social progress. I'm so proud to celebrate my first university graduation ceremony with all of you today. And we have so much to celebrate with our graduates. A celebration of your hard work, a celebration of commitment, a celebration of fortitude and resilience under extraordinary circumstances. You are all to be commended and congratulated doubly given where we have been and where we are today. And for that reason, this is also a moment to express gratitude. We are here today, but know that millions of people did not survive the pandemic globally, and countless more continue to suffer its effects. We are here today thanks to the dogged determination of care providers, frontline workers, first responders, and myriad others who got us through the darkest days with their sacrifice. We are, that's, that can get some applause. We are here today as a function of our investment in decades of research that set the stage for the development of vaccines and treatments that allow us to gather as one. And we are here today because of the support we rely upon to get through difficult times and to achieve our aspirations. Indeed, the last few years has shown us vividly the degree to which our fates are intertwined. If we succeed, we succeed together. And if we fail, we fail together. Each of us has achieved what we have only because others have helped us. And so it is important, before we go any further, that I ask the graduates to stand up, turn around, give thanks to the mothers, fathers, husbands, wives, children, friends, cousins. Thank you, thank you, and thank you all of you for your patience, kind words, encouragement, and more. I bet some of you thought this day would never come, but here we are to celebrate our graduates. Now we have a lot of people arrayed on the stage that were part of that shared effort, so I want to introduce some of the folks around me, starting with members of our board of trustees. I asked them to stand and wave when I call their name. Our chair, Francis Cuss, Vice Chair Kent Slider, Rose Cowley, Mark de Grand Prix, our faculty representative, Dr. Sandra Collins, and our student trustees, Faith Victor and Maria Cavero Munoz. Also joining us from the university's foundation board, our chair, Gregory Collins, and Cynthia Watson. And I'll ask that the senior officers of the university stand up. They're listed in the program. You can now decide which one is which. 
based on their faces. Thank you. And our student government representatives, President Ashan Landa, Vice President Carla Fafran Miguel, Treasurer Guillermo Estrada, and Secretary Christy Rosales Herrera. And here representing all of the fantastic staff of Montclair State University who do so much to, to create the student success we celebrate, Bijo Joseph, a principal postal clerk who has served the university and students for 11 years. Bijo is the recipient of the John W. Dennis Leadership Award, the highest honor that our University Facilities Division bestows upon its staff. Let's acknowledge all the staff who are here today and so to celebrate with you. Our staff, please stand so we can recognize you. And finally, I invite the members of the classes of 1970, 71, and 72 to stand and be recognized celebrating their 50th anniversary of their graduation. Undoubtedly, some of the grooviest classes in the history of the university. I'm going to ask Dr. Cuss to offer a welcome on behalf of the board, but let me note that we're particularly excited to gather graduates at all levels together in one university commencement. That is special because it brings together the many different programs that really underscore what this university is, a living, breathing monument to learning. Not just learning on an individual basis, but on a collective basis. We are committed to learning how to solve our most vexing challenges. And so our undergraduates are graduating with substance of knowledge in a particular area, but more importantly, they're learning how to learn. We don't pretend that what you learned over the last several years is going to be applicable in 20 years, but we hope you've acquired the ability to continue to grow and advance. Our master's students have learned how to apply knowledge in a focused way that cures our ills. And finally, our doctoral students have learned how to create knowledge, to engage in the process of inquiry that allows us to solve our most difficult problems. Now, in order to bring us all together, we move to this large open air venue. I mention that because we're tracking a storm coming towards us. So it is possible, it is possible that in the near future, we will take an unexpected intermission. But I believe that if thousands of people together will it so, we can control the weather. And I'm looking up at a banner that's celebrating Super Bowl III, and I will say that if you commit, like Joe Namath, I will guarantee that we will get through this ceremony. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, I'm delighted to introduce Dr. Francis Cuss, Chairman of the Board of Trustees of Montclair State University. Well, good afternoon, everyone, and welcome to the class of 2022. It's a great source of pride to me and my fellow trustees that over the past 114 years, Montclair State University has played a significant role in producing thousands of graduates who have contributed to society as engaged citizens, as well as becoming distinguished professionals pursuing a wide range of careers. Students of all majors, including accounting, biology, nursing, education, of course, also communications, computer science, theater and dance, and the list goes on and on. All have made significant impacts in their fields and make us all feel very privileged to be associated with Montclair State University, particularly on a day such as today. Now, as graduates of the 2022 class, 
you take your place as part of that proud Montclair State University legacy, and you have the opportunity to write your own chapter in the MSU role of contributions to public service. It's also a good time to call out and thank your family and friends who are here celebrating with you today and who have helped and supported you through your life to date. As I look back on the last couple of years, I am in awe of the hard work and dedication it must have taken to bring you here to graduation today. Getting a degree is a major commitment at any time and is never easy, but you have had a particularly challenging journey. And on behalf of the Board of Trustees, I want to congratulate you on your outstanding achievement, which is marked by all of us at this ceremony today. We know that you will build on these achievements going forward, and I want you to remember that you will always be part of our Montclair State University family. So please keep in touch with the university and let us know how you do. Good luck. Please welcome Associate Vice President and Dean of Students, Marjorie Coleman Carter. Good afternoon. At this time, let us please pause to remember those students whose lives were cut short this year during their pursuit of their dreams. Please remember with me, Catherine Alexander, Brianna Hernandez, Allison Starr Moloff, Ronald D. Moore, Timothy Roy, Anthony R. Smith. As we go through our lives, let us hold them in our hearts and to commit to embracing every opportunity to show kindness and compassion in their memory. Thank you. Please welcome Vice President for Student Development and Campus Life, Dr. Dawn Meza Souffleris, who will now present graduating cohorts. Hi, everyone. Montclair students followed varied paths to reach this day. At this time, we'd like to acknowledge some different types of accomplishments by our students. Will those students who performed community service during their time at Montclair please stand? You may be seated. Will those students who worked full or part-time while pursuing their studies, please stand. You may be seated. Will those students for whom English is not a first language, please stand. You may be seated. Will those students who overcame medical, physical, or mental health challenges please stand or raise your hand? You may be seated. 
Will those students who are veterans, active duty military, reservists, members of the National Guard, and public safety officers, please stand. You may be seated. And will those students who are the first in their families to graduate from college please stand? You may be seated. So many of you have shared these experiences, and we are proud of all that you have accomplished in addition to your hard work and dedication to your studies. We look forward to seeing what is next for you. Congratulations. At this time, we turn to the degree conferral ceremonies. We begin with doctoral degrees. Please welcome the Provost and Senior Vice President for Academic Affairs, Dr. Junius Gonzalez. Good afternoon. President Capel, it is my privilege to report to you that the candidates here assembled who have su successfully completed the curricula offered by the college schools of Montclair State University have been so certified by the university registrar and they are recommended by the faculty to be awarded degrees in recognition of their academic accomplishment. It is my pleasure to introduce Dr. Scott Herness, Vice Provost for Research and Dean of the Graduate School, to present the university's doctoral candidates. Will all the candidates for the Doctor of Audiology and the Doctor of Philosophy please rise? President Coppell, with pride in our doctoral candidates' hard work and devotion, and by recommendation of the faculty of their respective colleges, I have the honor of presenting these candidates for their doctoral degrees. Thank you, Dean Hernes. By virtue of the authority vested in me by the State of New Jersey and the Board of Trustees of Montclair State University, and in recognition of your achievement in fulfilling the prescribed curricula, I confer upon you, as earned, the designated doctoral degree with all the rights, duties, privileges, and, of course, obligations of which the diploma is witness. Congratulations, doctors. Danielle McDonald was selected to bring us greetings from the graduate class. Danielle is receiving her degree in the Master of Arts in Law and Governance today. Danielle, whose home is in the Bahamas, has focused her research on the ability of governments in developing nations to address their socioeconomic issues, especially for women and children. President Copel, trustees, administration, faculty, family, friends, special guests, 
and the class of 2022 of Montclair State University, a pleasant good afternoon and welcome. My fellow graduates, let's be real. I would like to say that all of our hard work is finally done, but that's not true because we all have a purpose yet to be fulfilled. To me, purpose is your essence of being. It is unique to every individual, but also it requires you to be intentional in everything you do. Purpose is not a destination. Rather, it is a journey where your struggles can be turned into power and joy. As an international student, I made the decision to leave my home in the Bahamas to seek a higher education. This investment came with sacrifice and major adjustments to a new culture and environment. This path was not always easy, but my faith, the support from my family, and the hope of the outcome fueled me to continue on. A meaningful saying that my parents always told me is that whatever you do, big or small, do it to the best of your ability. This became an encouraging reminder that I should always strive to be the best that I can in everything I do. Looking back, if someone were to ask me at 16 years old, where do you see yourself six years from now? I would not have said that an island gal from the Bahamas would be graduating at the age of 22 with her second degree and on her way to achieving her goals. As I gaze upon you all with your regalia, I can't help but to think of how much of a privilege it has been to have had Montclair State University as a part of my journey, our journey. I see students who have not only completed their degrees, but students who have sacrificed a lot to be where we are right here and right now. Regardless of where you come from or where you plan to go, always remember that the path of purpose involves community. And that's what Montclair is, community. We couldn't have done it alone, and we would have not been here today if it weren't for every single person that has supported our journeys here at Montclair. Know that there will be times when you start to doubt yourself and question your path of purpose. But as you continue along the road, don't compare yourself to others. No one here has ever, nor will ever, walk in your shoes. So, if you ever start to lose hope, remember to be patient in your hard work, to be gentle with yourself when you make mistakes, to be persistent when you don't get it on the first try, and always remember that your purpose in life is greater than any of the challenges that you may face. You've got this, we all do. We are Red Hawks at heart, so there is no doubt that we will soar high. Thank you and congratulations. Provost Gonzalez will introduce the outstanding master's degree students of the class of 2022. Since we are unable to let all of you walk across the stage here today, please direct your attention to the screens for a video presenting the outstanding master's degree students selected by the deans to represent each of the university's colleges and schools. Like so many of you, these Red Hawks have soared in the graduate studies, excelled in their academics and research, led in community and public service, took on new challenges and maximized the opportunities given to them. Hello, Montclair class of 2022. My name is Diane Sylvester. I'm graduating with a Master of Arts in Music Education. As a returning alumna, 
I was welcomed into a program that would blow the doors off my teaching. From the West African Drum and Dance Ensemble to world music and collaborative projects like the evolution from blues to hip hop, my thinking about music and education will never be the same. I'm looking forward to sharing everything that I've learned here with my colleagues as we work together to instill a love for lifelong music making with our students. Congratulations to all of my friends in the College of the Arts and to the Montclair class of 2022. Hi graduates, my name is Vanessa Garcia and I'm graduating with my Master's in Educational Leadership as part of the inaugural cohort of the Newark Montclair Leadership Pipeline Program. This is my third commencement at Montclair. I earned my bachelor's and my first master's here. Like I always say, once a Red Hawk, always a Red Hawk. But this time, it's been different. I'm so proud that we have persevered through these challenging times. Teaching through a pandemic, while earning our advanced degrees, and working to support our students and their families. We have supported each other every step of the way. I am so proud to have walked this journey with you. And I know that you, we are gonna be amazing leaders in our schools. I'm confident that with the knowledge and experiences I have gained here at Montclair, I am ready and prepared to lead within my community of Newark, New Jersey. Congratulations to the College of Education and Human Services and the entire graduating class of 2022. Hey everybody, my name is Brandon Wild and I'm graduating with a master's degree in computational linguistics. I feel pretty fortunate to have been able to pursue a career change here and to take on interesting machine learning projects like text simplification, automated translation, and humor detection. So I'm excited to see where our degrees take all of us and I wanna wish all the best to my fellow graduates in the College of Humanities and Social Sciences and congrats to the class of 2022. Hi, I'm Pallavi Tullu, graduating in computer science. During my graduate studies at Montclair, I really enjoyed working on hands-on projects with my classmates. It provided me with technical and collaborative skills to work on real-world projects in the future. My aspiration is to work on solutions that deal with climate change or space exploration. With the hope of a bright future for everyone, here is wishing all the graduates of College of Science and Mathematics and the class of 2022, congratulations. Hi everyone, my name is Mark Oliveri. First off, I would like to say congratulations to all my classmates of the class of 2022. I am lucky to have been a part of the five-year BSMS program here at Montclair, and I will be graduating with a master's degree in accounting. Throughout my five years at Montclair, I've made a ton of wonderful connections with classmates and professors all over campus. I will never be able to thank the faculty enough for the support and guidance I've received throughout my college experience. The Higher Red Hawk program helped me secure my first accounting job. I was originally hired as an intern, which eventually led to a full-time position. The preparation I've received from Montclair State has enabled me to feel confident sitting for the CPA exam. Again, I would like to say congratulations to all my classmates in the class of 2022 in the Feliciano School of Business. Congratulations to the class of 2022. My name is Sandy Hussein, and I'm graduating with my Master's of Science in Nursing. There have been many gratifying moments that fuel my personal and professional growth here at Montclair State University. I was part of the inaugural class RN to BSN and MSN Nursing program. I have gained a wealth of knowledge, and my time here had advanced my passion and commitment in helping others. Also, I'm proud to say that I'm a clinical adjunct professor here at Montclair State University. Currently, I'm studying to become a nurse practitioner, and my future goal is to obtain my doctorate in nursing. Once again, congratulations to my fellow graduates of the School of Nursing and the entire class of 2022. Congratulations to all of you. The deans will now present the candidates for master's degrees. Dean Kimberly Hollister of the Feliciano School of Business. Will the candidates for the master's degree in the Feliciano School of Business please rise? President Coppell, upon the recommendation of the faculty of the Feliciano School of Business, I am pleased to present the candidates who have qualified for the Master of Business Administration and Master of Science degrees. The 2022 Outstanding Graduate Student, representing all the master's degree candidates from the School of Business today, is Mark Oliveri, who is receiving his Master of Science in Accounting.
Please be seated. Associate Dean Leslie Wilson of the College of Humanities and Social Sciences. Good afternoon. Will the candidates for the master's degree in the College of Humanities and Social Sciences please rise? President Capel, it is my privilege to present the candidates who have qualified for the Master of Arts, Master of Science, and Master of Social Work degrees upon recommendation of their faculty. Representing all of our de master's degree graduates is the College of Humanities and Social Sciences 2022 Outstanding Master's Degree student, Brandon Weil. Brandon is earning his Master of Science in Computation Linguistics today. Please be seated. Dean Laura Billings of the College of Science and Mathematics. Will the candidates for the master's degree in the College of Science and Mathematics please rise? <laughs> President Coppell, upon the recommendation of the faculty of the College of Science and Mathematics, I am honored to introduce to you the candidates who have qualified for the degree of Master's of Arts and Master's of Science degrees. I would also like to introduce our college's 2022 Outstanding Master's Degree student, Pallavi Tulu, who is earning a Master of Science in Computer Science today. Please be seated. Dean Janice Smolowitz of the School of Nursing. Will the candidates for the master's degree in the School of Nursing please rise? President Capel, it is a tremendous honor to present to you the candidates as recommended by faculty who have qualified for the Master of Science in Nursing degree. We are proud to say that this is the first cohort to achieve this degree. Representing all of our master's candidates is the School of Nursing's 2022 Outstanding Master's to Student Degree, Sandy Hustain, who is among the cohort earning Master's of Science today. Please be seated. Dean Daniel Gerskis from the College of the Arts. Will the candidates for the Master's Degree in the College of the Arts please rise? President Coppell, it is my great pleasure to introduce to you the candidates recommended by faculty who have qualified for the Master of Arts, the Master of Fine Arts, and the Master of Music degrees in the College of the Arts. Diane Sylvester, the College of the Arts 2022 Outstanding Master's student, represents all the talented graduates here today. She is earning a Master of Arts in Music with a music education concentration. Due to circumstances beyond her control, she was unable to join us today, and she sends her regards. Please be seated. Acting Dean of the College of Education and Human Services, Katrina Bulkley. Will the candidates for the master's degree in the College of Education and Human Services please rise? President Capel, I am delighted to introduce the candidates recommended by faculty who have qualified for the Master of Arts, Master of Arts in Teaching, Master of Education, Master of Public Health, and Master of Science degrees. The 2022 Outstanding Master's Degree student is Vanessa Garcia, who is earning her Master of Arts in Educational Leadership today. Will all of the master's degree candidates across all colleges and schools please rise. 
by virtue of the authority vested in me by the State of New Jersey and the Board of Trustees of Montclair State University, and in recognition of your achievement in fulfilling the curricula prescribed, I confer upon you, as earned, the designated master's degree with all rights, duties, privileges, and obligations of which the diploma is the written witness. Congratulations, masters. be seated. We now turn to our undergraduate ceremony and the conferral of bachelor's degrees. Associate Provost for Undergraduate Education and Dean of University College, Dr. David Hood will introduce the senior class speaker. Good afternoon. Anne-Marie Berea was selected to bring us greetings from the senior class. Today, Anne is receiving her Bachelor's of Science degree in Business Administration with a concentration in International Business. Anne has been working in international sales for 25 years and has been with Comag Marketing Group for nearly four years. As an export sales manager, Comag Marketing Group is one of the world's largest importers and exporters of magazines. Following graduation, Anne plans to continue exploring opportunities for growing international sales of magazines as well as other products. Congratulations, Anne. Wow, I gotta take this in for a second. Good afternoon. Welcome to President Capel, the Dean, the faculty, the alumni, friends and family, and of course to the reason we are all here today, the class of 2022 of Montclair State University. I am truly humbled and honored to stand here today as a fellow graduate and student speaker. I have thought long and hard about the message that I wanted to deliver, not only to my fellow classmates, but to every single person in attendance today and who is watching at home. I am a 46-year-old mother of great three great children, <laughs> one of whom, Heather Renee Turan, graduated Montclair State last year with a bachelor's degree in science and who's now on the veterinarian school in the fall. I am also a Nana to one incredible little boy. I was a single teen mom and a widow at just 25 years old. I have had my fair share of challenges. Graduating with a bachelor's degree was always a goal of mine, but for a long time, it was just that, a goal. Over the course of many years, and while raising three children alone and working full time, I decided to start working on my goal. I took classes here and there at Bergen Community College, and after about five years, probably closer to six, I earned my associate's degree. I was happy, but that was not my end goal. I just had to keep going. In 2020, I decided to attend Montclair State University as a full-time student while also working full-time and taking care of my mom. Fast forward to today. I did it. I have finally reached my goal after nearly 20 years. I would like everyone here and at home to take a minute and think about a goal you have. 
It could be for school, a job, a relationship, or just a personal goal that you have for yourself. Do you have it? <laughs> I am here to tell you that it can be done. It can be done if you remember three wise words that my amazing parents instilled in me. Drive, focus, and worth. Drive. You have to stay driven. Any goal you set for yourself is important. And if you stay driven and work hard, you will achieve it. It could take a week. It could take a month. It could take a year. It could take several years. Keep your eye on that prize. Focus. It is easy to get distracted by life when trying to work on a goal. Responsibilities and roadblocks can sometimes force your goal to be on the back burner temporarily. And that is okay. When back on track, stay focused and remember one last thing. Your worth. You are worth it. Every single person here today is worth it. There will be days you don't think your goal is obtainable. There will be days you cry, days you doubt yourself, days that you just want to give up. Don't. Stay driven, stay focused, and remember, you are worth it. It's really important. This here today was a goal that you set for yourself, and here you are. You achieved it. A huge congratulations to all the students graduating today. I wish you best of luck in the future. Thank you. You will notice that some of our undergraduate students have gold tassels on their mortar boards signifying that they are graduating cum laude with honors, magna cum laude with high honors, and summa cum laude with highest honors. Will those undergraduates who are graduating with honors please rise? Your family, friends, and fellow students join me in applauding your success. success. Congratulations to all of our amazing students. I once again call upon the deans to present candidates from their respective colleges and schools. Dean of the Feliciano School of Business, Kimberly Hollister. Will the candidates for the bachelor's degrees in the Feliciano School of Business please rise? President Coppell, on the recommendation of the faculty, I am honored to present the candidates who have qualified for the Bachelor of Arts and Bachelor of Science degrees. The outstanding bachelor's degree student representing all students is Madison Surgent, who is earning a Bachelor of Science in Business Administration with a concentration in Finance and a minor in Economics. Please be seated. Associate Dean Leslie Wilson of the College of Humanities and Social Sciences. Will the candidates for the bachelor's degree in the College of Humanities and Social Sciences please rise? <laughs> President Capel, I am proud to present the candidates who have qualified for the Bachelor of Arts degree from the College of Humanities and Social Sciences upon the recommendation of the faculty. The outstanding bachelor's degree student representing all the graduates of the College of Humanities and Social Sciences is Ebony Harrell. Please be seated. Dean Laura Billings of the College of Science and Mathematics. Will the candidates for the bachelor's degree in the College of Science and Mathematics please rise? President Capel, upon the recommendation
Association of the Faculty of the College of Science and Mathematics. It is with great pleasure I introduce to you the candidates for the Bachelor of Arts and the Bachelor of Science degrees. I'm also pleased to introduce our outstanding bachelor's degree student, Nina Mamana, who is earning a Bachelor of Science and Mathematics today. Please be seated. Dean Janice Smolowitz of the School of Nursing. Will the candidates for the bachelor's degree in the School of Nursing please rise? President Capel, it is my honor to present to you the candidates recommended by faculty who have qualified for the Bachelor of Science in Nursing. Like all our graduates today, our outstanding bachelor's degree student, Anthony Gandor, is earning a Bachelor of Science in Nursing. Please be seated. Dean Daniel Gerskis from the College of the Arts. Will the candidates... Will the candidates for the bachelor's degree in the College of the Arts please rise? President, President Coppell, I am delighted to present the candidates who have qualified for the Bachelor of the Arts, Bachelor of Fine Arts, and Bachelor of Music degrees. Representing all our talented bachelor candidates is Victoria Ayub. Victoria is earning her Bachelor of Arts in Visual Arts. Please be seated. College of Education and Human Services Acting Dean Katrina Bulkley. Will the candidates for the bachelor's degree in the College of Education and Human Services please rise always ahead of the game. President Capel, on the recommendation of faculty, I am so pleased to present the candidates who have qualified for the Bachelor of Arts and Bachelor of Science degrees. The outstanding bachelor's degree student is Susie T. Rodriguez. Susie is earning her Bachelor of Science in Public Health with a concentration in Health Systems Administration and Policy. Now will all the fantastic bachelor's degree candidates across all colleges and schools please rise. By virtue of the authority vested in me by the State of New Jersey and the Board of Trustees of Montclair State University, and in recognition of your achievement in fulfilling the curricula prescribed, I confer upon you, as earned, the designated bachelor's degree with all the rights, duties, privileges, and obligations of which the diploma is the written witness. Congratulations, bachelors. Please be seated. Now, we do have a couple of bureaucratic things that we're going to have to do before we can really record that, so just stand by. Before we do that, I want to welcome Dr. Jennifer Robinson, University Certification Officer and Executive Director of the Center of Pedagogy, who will now testify concerning the certification of members of the class of 2022 to practice in the state of New Jersey. And as Dr. Robinson comes forward, I want to take a moment to ask all of the teachers who are still present to please rise so we can recognize you. Teachers who are in the audience, please stand up. We wouldn't be here without you. Dr. Robinson. Will the members of the class of 2022 who completed a New Jersey certification program, master's or undergraduate, in any school or college, please rise. <laughs> President Coppell, it gives me great pleasure to testify that these graduates have successfully completed their academic majors, professional sequences, 
and the appropriate examination and are certified and qualified to engage in public practice in the public schools of the state of New Jersey. Congratulations to the next generation of educators, administrators, and counselors of New Jersey. Thank you and congratulations. We will always be Montclair Normal School and we thank you for the journey you are embarking upon as educators. Now before, as I say, we take these final steps, I just want to give you one word as we come in under the wire. We're editing freely here to get everybody out safe. You are graduating at an extraordinary time. In many ways, it is a challenging time. We are facing obvious problems, war, climate change, health inequality, racism, unequal educational attainment. It is easy it is easy to capitulate to fear and doubt in these situations. But I want to, refle to reflect on what got you here today. It was not fear, it was not doubt, it was not uncertainty. Each of you are here because you believed it was possible to do so. You were fundamentally optimistic about the future and that got you to this day. And I want you to retain that when it's so hard in the vortex of social media misery and negativism. Do not give in. Do not get sucked into this tide that is pulling us down. Some of you may have seen a famous speech by Franklin Delano Roosevelt, which I didn't quite understand until the last few years, when he said, the only thing we have to fear is fear itself. Nameless, unreasoning, unjustified terror, which paralyzes needed efforts to confer, convert retreat into advance. I didn't quite know what that meant. Now I know. Now I know. We can be paralyzed by fear and anger and division. It's easy to mobilize voters on the basis of fear. It's easy to divide people on the basis of fear. But it is difficult, if not impossible, to motivate change. And you are the agents of change that we need. You have reached this day by overcoming challenges. You did not accept that things were impossible because they were difficult. Do not accept that the world cannot be a better place. It can, and I believe you are the key to making it so. The only insurmountable obstacle to change is the unsubstantiated belief that change is not possible. So thank you for the energy you have brought to Montclair State University. Thank you for the optimism that charges me every day and makes me believe in a better future than today. You are what we need, and we are counting on you to continue with the energy, resourcefulness, and commitment that you have demonstrated today. Thank you, and congratulations once again. Now I'm going to ask the Grand Marshal to join me to direct that first step, the all-important tassel ceremony. Will all bachelor's degree students please rise? All right, now here's the deal. When the Grand Marshal signals with the university mace, you will move your tassel from the right side to the left side of your mortarboard. Everybody ready? All right, watch the Grand Marshal. Here she goes. Now I want our masters and doctoral students to rise because this one applies to you too. There's a little known, there's a little known chapter in New Jersey law, strange, and it's obviously recent. Until the president takes a selfie with the graduating class and tweets it out, none of this counts.
All right, now I'm gonna I'm gonna tweet that, and then you're good. Congratulations. Cynthia Watson, a graduate of the class of 1999 and member of the Montclair State University Foundation Board, will now welcome graduates to the community of Montclair State University alumni. Congratulations, graduates. Today, you make the transition from students to alumni, and we hope you will remember your Montclair State experience with thanks, satisfaction, and fondness. As graduates of the class of 2022, you join a vital network of 130,000 Red Hawks with whom you share a common bond. I am proud to bring you greetings on their behalf. Like many of you, I was the first in my immediate family to attend college. My mother worked very hard and around the clock to make ends meet for me and my sister. And in fact, everyone around me contributed to help my, my life be successful. As a kid in Newark's West Ward, I saw college as a way to get out of the hood and to have better opportunities and options. Being involved as an alumni was a natural progression for me, and I want to continue to give back and stay involved in serving as a mentor for the next generation of students coming back to the campus to speak to classes and serving as a member of the University Foundation Board and our newly formed Black Alumni Advisory Council. It's important for me to plant the seeds in those that come after me to let them know that you can do it. The people you have met at Montclair and the alumni you will meet going forward can serve as friends, mentors, and professional contacts for you for many years to come. As you stand on the threshold of the next phase of your life, I ask you to remember one thing. Your connection to this great university doesn't end today. It lasts a lifetime. And I hope you will continue to stay connected to your alumni network. We're constantly coming up with exciting programs from networking to social events to reunions and special homecoming activities for alumni just like you. I also urge you to join our online community Montclair Connect for many ways to stay connected to your alma mater and to each other. The class of 2022 is already breaking ground as many of you have already stepped forward and contributed to the class of 22 a gift to help students who follow behind you. Wear your alumni medallion proudly. Thank you for your generosity and your leadership and it's greatly appreciated. Class of 2022, you are Montclair State University. Your fellow alumni join me in wishing you all the best. Enjoy the day. Thank you. Please stand and join in singing the Montclair State University alma mater. The words can be found on the last page of the commencement program. The alma mater will be led by Alec Loby, who is graduating today with a Bachelor of Fine Arts in Musical Theater. Beneath the Jersey sky so blue in Montclair's mountain town, there stands a college tried and true and growing Fate may lead us far away. 
This concludes the 2022 Montclair State University commencement. We thank you all for sharing this afternoon with us. We ask that the graduates and guests remain seated until the recessional is complete. Congratulations, graduates. Thank <laughs> you.